Let's start off and talk about your career as a model and an actress. Most currently you're on ABC Station 19, but kind of how did you get your start and what do you enjoy most about doing it? So I got my start when I was probably six, five or six, because my older brother, Maxu, he started acting before a little, a little before me. And I'd always have to go with him to those auditions and sit in the waiting room with him. And when I did that, I, I was like, told my mom, I was like, I want to do this. I want to try this. I want to do this. And then my first commercial I got with him, actually, and it was like for Burger King, I'm pretty sure. And it was so much fun. And I just know, knew from there, like, I loved it. And I just love acting. Now, I understand pre-pandemic, you had a passion for fashion and this uh-huh. desire to start a clothing line. So talk yeah. to me about late and then how this idea became your actual company. So it was in the, like the, when COVID first started, it was summertime and me and my best friend, Kate, we were like, we were so bored and we had like nothing to do. And I remember we were on like a FaceTime call or something. And um, we were talking and like, we were just talking about how we both want to be fashion designers, fashion designers when we grow up though. And I was like, wait, why don't we just do it now? And then, um, then we started to bring this idea to life and then slowly, slowly started happening. But then I was in an accident. So we took a pause on this clothing line. And then after we started doing it and a lot of our, now um, our proceeds go to children's hospital and um we can make like specially designed clothes, like our clothes are for everybody, but like, let's say children's, they need like, a sick, cause I had like a pick line and I was in the hospital and I, and I like have casts on my arm for therapy to make me use my left arm. And like, if a kid has one of those, like let's say can't wear like a normal t-shirt or a normal sweatshirt or something like that, we can make a specially designed clothing line clothing piece for them. Love that you just had the attitude of like, wait, why are we waiting till we're older? Let's see the day now and just launch it. Um, And like you mentioned, you know what? It it wasn't a straight road to your launch in spring. Last October, you had an accident. Can you share a little bit about um, what happened and and what that looked like? Yeah. So I was, it was on October 22nd and I was like, it was, I was in between like fifth and sixth period of school and I had like a five minute break and I had already had lunch and I was bored so I decided to go outside with my grandpa on the swing and so I was and it was like it was in the ceiling by like this like this nail was like a circle at the end of it I'm not sure what it's called but um I was swinging on it like back and forth and my grandpa was pushing me so I swung one time and I was perfectly fine and then I swung another time and when I swung that time um the thing fell out of the ceiling and it went into the back of my head, like right, like I have a cast on for therapy actually right now, but it went like right to the top of my head, like right here. And then, um, it, and then I, like I fell and I had a stroke. And then a few minutes later, that's when the, um, the fire, the firefighters and the paramedics, um, showed up to the scene and yeah. Man, that must have been so traumatic and emotional. And I know you spent months in the hospital and you even had to learn to rewalk again. But surprisingly, you spent less time than originally expected that it was so kind of what what gave you hope during this time? How did you stay positive on this road to recovery? Well, in my mind, it was like I can't go back in time and like it is what it is. And I have to just because like this is my new reality. And like I had to um I just had, like, I know I wanted to learn how to walk and I know I wanted to, do, I wanted to learn how to use my hand again. I wanted to go home and I wanted to see my friends and I wanted to be out of the hospital and I wanted to get, just get everything over with. You know, you, you showed your cast there. So what does your current rehab regime look like? So I do OT and PT at Children's Hospital and usually in OT, we like work on like putting my hair back and tying my shoes, like stuff that I would do on a normal like daily basis. Um, like I learned, like I, I learned so much to do with my left hand. I feel like I have m- most of every, like a lot of things back in my hand, except for my fine water skills and my foot right now, like my leg, we're learning how to, I'm, re- I'm re- learning how to rerun again, which it was one of my really big goals. Cause I want to like, I want to get back to all my sports, like soccer, BMX track. You mentioned earlier about your clothing items, how, um, some of the line gives back to children's hospital, Los Angeles, and, and even some of the details and the way you design the clothes, you know, takes into account patients, but you even named some of your clothing after significant individuals that you met along the way. Talk about kind of how that idea came out and why you picked some of them. Well, some of them, like they're like, they helped me so much and they're like, they're at the right place and like my, my, my life there, they're at the right place in the right time. 
And so I like, they're really important to me and they're super special and they, they made me really happy. So I was like, I decided to name them after, but um, like Jose Perez, he was the paramedic that showed up first when, when I first had my accident. He, I, I loved him so much. I love, I still do. We still go visit him all the time. He's like five minutes away. He lives, he, he's at station 97. So we go and see him a lot, bring donuts. I mean, just talking. I, he's just so nice. And I, he was just so comforting during the accident when I was like, when I was like, when we were at children, my mom told me this story. Um, Top one, George. He was like, my, he was like on like in the end of his shift. And my mom, we were just walking and like my mom was like right beside me, right beside me. And like, he was just walking out. My mom said that she felt like she knew him even though they didn't know each other. My mom just felt like a special connection between them. And so my mom, um, he like didn't follow my mom because he knew something was wrong. So he started following my mom. And then he like prayed over me when I was about to get surgery. And he came to my room to um, make prayers and he was super, super sweet. Power of prayer at work it is yeah. great. And speaking of faith, like what, how, how has that changed or shifted or solidified during this process for you? So many people have helped me like so much and it's just so crazy that like what people can like what and like what people can like impact on your life and, and like these people like have changed my life and I just I love them. Yeah, it might not make sense in the middle of it but when you can fortunately take that step back and look yeah you know, the, the fabric and the tapestry that's been weaved is so special and so fun. Yeah. And the exciting thing is that you returned to filming on station. Yeah. So what did it feel like to be back? And how did your coworkers and crew react? I know when I got back, there's a lot of tears and crying. And it was just, it was emotional. It was, it was like a happy emotional. When I got back, everyone was hugging me and they're so happy. And everyone, it was just, it was I don't, it was just like this feeling of like joy and happiness and excitement. And I was just, I was so happy. One of the things that I think that's so powerful about your story is that you're sharing it, right? Like yeah. we and others may not have the exact same accident that you had, but we all have something in our life that's yeah. traumatic or that's a setback or that at the time feels impossible yet we yeah. can just push through, um, you know, good can be had. What advice would you, would you give to others having walked through something like this, um, kind of about resilience or persistency? Yeah. Okay. So I remember in my hospital room, there was like a, it's like a little like um quote that said like I don't remember exactly but it was like something's like like it's fun sometimes to face the impossible and my mom at first she showed me that I was like it's not it's not and then my mom was like it, my mom took a picture of me because she went she then showed me it later on she's like it is it is fun because I remember like it, at first I was like how am I gonna do this how I'm gonna like this is terrible and like I don't know what I'm gonna do and so, and then I just, I like, I remembered like, this is my reality. I had to keep my head up and like, I had to learn how to walk again. If I want to walk in, I can't just, I can't just whine. So I was just decided to like, I needed to be strong for my own self. And um, I just had to put my best work into like getting myself better and taking time to make me feel better. Talk to me about your friend that you um, developed late with it's it's a combination of both your names is that yeah correct? yeah Lalia and Kate so my best friend we've been friends since we were four we met in TK at our old elementary school and um we've been like best friends ever since we're like we're super close and when I was in the hospital I remember she called me like she called me every single day and um she always checked to make sure I was okay she was always sending me like packages and clothes to the hospital room and I remember she's planned like, this huge birthday party for me and um and she was and she was just there for me the whole time so it was her whole family and like I remember even during her birthday she sent me something she went to the mall with a couple friends for her birthday because she's supposed to have this birthday party but she didn't have it because I was in the hospital but um so she went to the mall with a couple friends for her birthday and she even sent me this video it was like hi Lolly, we miss you and we love you and it's so nice because she was always thinking about me and always sending me the nicest things Oh, it's great to have friendships like that and, and, yeah. and even more fun when you guys can be creative and, and yeah. do, do life together. Thank you so much for taking the time today. I, I love seeing your smiling face. I love seeing all the all the good that's come out of this and, and what you're creating. And we'll be sure and you know let people know that they should check out late and also you back on station 19. All right. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks, Lalia. Bye.